And that's how we subverted all of our DM's expectations. Be me. Level 1 recently resurrected skeleton with an amulet that lets me speak only to children telepathically. Necromancer tells me and other skeleton party members we need to find disguises to sneak through the nearby town. What was supposed to happen? While searching houses we find out one of the villagers is a serial killer. We alert the guard. Guard starts fighting the murderer while we search houses for more disguises. We scare a group of cows on the edge of town causing them to run into a group having an outdoor party nearby. Use that distraction to steal the rest of the clothes we need. We quietly sneak out of town. What actually happened? While disguised, I try and get three children to alert the guard that I found dead bodies in the serial killer's house. Guard doesn't believe the children and walks away. Serial killer attacks the children for trying to expose him. I jump in and start fighting the serial killer with one of his own scythes that I stole from his house. Guard fails 5 consecutive perception checks as I won versus won a serial killer much higher level than me for the next 5 turns. During all of this one of my skeleton brass tries to use the cows as cover to hide. He rolls so high that the cows begin to follow him and obey his basic commands. He and another skeleton bro use the cows to lift them through windows of houses to steal more clothes. Cows officially now involved in assisting with breaking and entering. One of the skeleton bros falls through a window and gets stuck in a wine barrel that he smashed into. Serial kill chucks a dagger at me that gets stuck in my forehead revealing to all who were watching that I'm undead. I get a critical hit against the serial killer and manage to kill him with one of his own murder weapons while at one hit point myself. Several adults run away in fear along with one of the children. The other two children start running around me in circles and chanting that I heroically defeated the serial killer. All of the skeletons decide it's time to get the hell out of town. The skeleton bro that used cows to help in his clothing heist was told to roll a 1d20 to determine how many cows follow him. Skeleton bro that got stuck in the wine barrel absorbed so much magical alcohol that he now emits a drunken aura and glows in the dark. All enemies within 15 feet have to roll a successful save or become drunk. Two of the children I saved from the serial killer have decided to follow me and are now our new companions along with 19 cows that followed the other skeleton bro. How did any of this happen? I now understand why people naturally assume skeletons are bad. Be me. Level 1 recently revived skeleton with amulet that lets me telepathically talk to children. Know me. Party of other recently revived skeletons with various abilities. Successfully escaped the graveyard and nearby village in the last 3 sessions and stole some clothing to use as disguises. Currently near the harbor tasked with stealing a boat so we can find the necromancer that resurrected us. One skeleton player uses his new drunken aura skill to make every non-party member drunk around us. The rest of us continue in hiding in the herd of 19 cows that followed us from last session. A combination of cow camouflage and all the nearby city folk being drunk off their ass helps us sneak halfway through town. Some of the cows get spooked by the drunk people and start a small stampede on the edge of the market. Cows tearing through tables, market booths, people and trade goods go flying everywhere. Two people get trampled to death and several more are injured but the drunken aura makes them all apathetic so they don't really do anything. Trying to be a good fatherly skeletal figure. I take the two teenage girls accompanying me and walk north to go down an alleyway. Hoping to avoid them seeing the dead people run over by cows. The party walks right past the injured and dead and approach a very busy main street with dozens of carriages going by at top speed. Drunken skeleton rolls so high on his drunken aura check that all of the carriage drivers in a 60 foot radius immediately become shit faced. Carriages begin crashing all over the road running down pedestrians and slamming into buildings. All in all, about 30 people died right in front of the alleyway I had taken. The two girls with me, instead of seeing two dead bodies, now see dozens and one of them begins to freak out. I spend two turns of movement trying to calm the girls down so we can cross the street. The whole town rushes to the main street to start pulling the injured and dead from the wreckage of carriages and market stalls. Only one guard passes a perception check to realize the weird band of people with cows are highly suspicious. We make a straight line to the nearest boat that's not occupied, except our kleptomaniac party member. He goes through a warehouse trying to loot it. Managed to get about 4 cows onto the boat with us. 
I start having second thoughts of whether or not the two human NPCs are safer with us or without us. They want to go with because they've never been on a boat before and so I take them along. Someone untied the boat forgetting one of our party was still looting a nearby warehouse. Boat starts drifting away. We're all shouting at him with our necromantic telepathy link. Get the fuck on the boat, we're leaving. I have to spend 3 rounds doing strength checks to hold down the gangplank as he tries to sprint to the pier in time to get on the boat. Both NPC girls with me holding onto my bony legs so I don't fall in the water. A party member ties a rope around me as another holds me around the waist. Almost fell off the boat but at the last skeleton does a front flip and crashes onto the boat as we all somehow made it in time. I go to chastise him for almost screwing over the party. I stole some food from that warehouse so the human girls don't go hungry on our boat ride. Oh, thank you. I take the food rations. The only guard that was suspicious of us runs up to the end of pier but the gangplank already fell in the water so he can't reach us. He starts shouting to everyone for help but they're still helping all the people that got injured. Guard points as us it was you I know it was you that killed all those people. We slowly drift away from the harbor. One party member quietly says you know he's not wrong. Really. Everyone goes up a level for completing the mission. Skeleton with the drunken aura went up two levels for all EXP from the people he accidentally killed. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I got this story sent in to me. Sadly it is nowhere near finished. But thought I may as well give you guys a taste of what is to come. Even if it is only a small sample.